So we're going to make our own custom Lego minifigs. And we're going to use Google Slides, and we're going to learn Google Drawing tools in order to do this. So this is a slideshow with a slide for each person in the class. And you're going to find a blank Lego minifig because they're just their templates. So you can see they're just blank. Find one, put your name on it, and you get to start building, drawing, overlapping, filling in shapes to color in your Lego figure, and then add details. So you want to make it look like a little mini-me. So this is my Lego figure. She's kind of taken apart because I, I leave her so that students can pick her apart and see how it was built. But um, my Lego minifig has hair like mine and a t-shirt from my roller derby team. She got a little uh, roller skates on and coffee. So I thought, like, what are all the things I can do to make it look like me? So here's what I want to show you. Um, in order to fill in your Lego minifig, um, some things will be really easy, like grabbing a shape for the head, drawing it, maybe moving it around, filling it in the color you want. Yay, amazing. But not everything's gonna be that easy. Take, for example, the shirt. Maybe you will grab a shape like this and say, well, this is close to the shirt shape and I can match it up and that's pretty close, but it, it's actually not so great because you've got these corners sticking out at the end. Well, I'm gonna show you some tricks in the line tools, there are two tools that are gonna be very helpful. One is the polyline tool, where you click and drag to make your very own custom shape. So I'm gonna kinda, of, I click that one a little bit too. When you get back to the end, it fills in and you can see this is a much better shape than that other shape that I was drawing and it's much closer to the uh, design. The other thing you wanna think about doing when you're making these is to change the color of your outline they default to this like uh, black or like dark gray. If you make your outlines transparent, what you can do is you can grab other shapes and you can overlap them and it will then look like one larger shape. So if I turn this yellow, oh, you see the line. But if I grab it, make my line transparent, ta-da, it looks like all one shape. So my person is basically created from a series of these overlapped shapes to give the illusion of a different shape. So the hand is one that students are always like, how did you make the hand? Well, it's actually built up out of shapes. So here's my secret. This is two white shapes. The hand itself is a yellow donut shape. And the little shadow here in between here is just a half circle. And it's all in the way that I stacked them. So the, the half circle's in the back, the donut -y shape is on the top-ish. I can adjust it a little bit later. And then these are on the top here. And when I turn the outlines transparent, now we have this shape that actually looks like um, a hand when I drop it. Oh, I have a heck of a time getting that lined up. Um, when I drop it down, I let it go. It actually looks like a hand. The other thing that I use is I use this tool called the curve tool. And that's how I make the hair. That's how I made the eyelashes. So any of those are regular shapes. So same place where you found your polyline tools, you're going to use the curve tool. The curve tool allows you to draw a shape and instead of just doing straight lines going out, you click and move and it curves your line. So you can make these shapes that are not um, necessarily like angular. So I'm gonna just draw like a kind of an arm shape here. Not perfect, but it'll do. When I get back to the beginning of the shape, it kind of magnetizes, like snaps together. And I'm gonna click and that's gonna fill it in. So now all of a sudden I have a shape for the arm. I don't know, maybe I wanna make different colors or something, whatever. Um, that's one solution for doing the arm. Now what I did over here was I actually used some of these other shapes like the cylinder and uh, like half circle shapes and I kind of stretch them out and stack them up to, to get exactly what I'm looking for. So that's something you can do too, is kind of have fun, overlap these shapes, and just try to create different things because uh, you never know what you're going to make. But definitely when you're building your Lego figure, you want to try to make it Lego-like, customize it, make it like you with props and symbols and things. But uh, kind of go beyond the regular shapes and see if you can do something um, kind of unique and interesting. So I did add a slide in our slideshow with some reminders as to what these two tools are, the curve and the polyline some keyboard shortcuts when you're layering shapes, you can move them forward and back. And there's a little Lego face uh, inspiration sheet to kind of help guide you on your way and make your uh, figure look a little more Lego-like.